Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of The Computer Man. Today is June 8, 2015, and Apple just completed their uh, WWDC 2015. They released their new OS 10.11, Watch OS 2, and iOS 9. So let's get started. We're going to look at OS X El Capitan 10.11. And with 10.11, you get more performance, so opening up PDFs, emails, playing games, applications. Just run more smoothly when opening up, more faster. Better than Yosemite, where in Yosemite it's slower, you know, takes up all your RAM. In uh, El Capitan 10.11, not anymore. More faster, more better. And Metal is now for the Mac, as well as iOS, now Metal for the Mac. Which means you can use more power from the CPU and the GPU. Faster for older Macs. What you get now is split screen, so you can do multitask and view. Um, from the launcher and stuff like that, as well as mission control, so you can align stuff at the top of mission control up here, applications and stuff, and add more and things like that. The the cursor, you can move your hands on the trackpad, two finger gesture, and the cursor would move bigger, so you can find it and on the uh, Bluetooth trackpad and mouse. Spotlight, even more helpful now, it taps into the web to pick up more information on weather. You can search up, look up the stocks and web videos if you're into Spotlight. Here's, you can ask questions in your own words, like documents I worked on last week, and it'll pop on stuff that you've been working on last week and stuff like that. Here's mail, so now you can swipe in, get more information, more gestures. You can drag pictures and move them around to other emails, full screen, more messaging, add suggested contacts now, suggested events, swipe in to do deletes on the Mac now. Notes got more better, so you can copy, you know photos, pictures, videos, ULR, map applications, stuff like that. And you can add a um, to-do list now. Browsers and stuff. Use your notes so on all devices so it syncs through iCloud. Photos. They didn't talk about this in the keynote I believe but new photo application more um, editing tools and things like that to be used. Everything in one place, stuff like that. Safari, built in new stuff. So now you can add your favorite pages here or pin them, what they're called. You can pin them there. AirPlay, like we already know, stream them to an Apple TV. You can mute all tabs or find out where that song or video is playing from. Public transfer, public transit information is now available. So now you can look at the map and see all the trains and train stations, subway stations, bus routes, and stuff like that. And for Chinese users and international users, you know, stuff like that. Better fonts and stuff and things like that. Metal, now the performance call, jaw call. The draw call performance is up to 10%, so now it's faster with games, applications, and everything, and Metal is going to be built into every application now. So here's the speed, 1.4 times faster app launch, up to 2 times faster app switching, up to 2 times faster display of first mail messages, 4 times faster PDF opening and preview, and... The developer preview is to, is uh, available today, and next month is the beta tester, public beta tester of El Capitan. So now we're going to go look at iOS 9. So here's Watch OS. We're going to pop over to iOS 9. iOS 9. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so iOS 9. 
has a lot of features for the iPad, multitasking, multi-switching, things like that. So here's a new app called News, which is replacing the old Newsstand app, which is like Flipboard. A lot of people are calling it it's like Flipboard, where you can add uh, stuff, you can pick stuff, you can add your own things that you like to read, and it updates it in the background and stuff like that. Load news sources, so you can select what you want to read, and that would load up you know, stories you want to read about, and so forth. Uh, new protocol called Apple News for publishers and stuff like that, which you can add your own videos, audio, pictures, custom typography, and things like that for iOS. Notes, which is now bringing in um, same features from the notes on the El Capitino. You know, which is, um, dropping in locations, websites, and, um, to-do list. Sorry about that. You can add notes from wherever you're at now, so from the web, messages, anything like that. Checklist. You can actually sketch on your phone for notes. Sketch out your own drawing and notes like that, and you can do a photo too, right in the notes app. All your notes, if you use iCloud, syncs up with everything. Maps, mass transits now, which is very useful if you're catching a bus, uh, subway, and uh, train. Tells you how far you are, if you're going to be late or not. And in maps, you can also see what stores or places you use the new Apple Pay. Transit, you know, view them. Nearby places with Apple Pay and things like that. Wallet, which now replaces Passbook. So Passbook's been recalled into Wallet. Use more cards like uh, your um, more credit cards and uh, rewards cards as well. CarPlay is now becoming wireless and supporting new features and things like that. Multi-screen on the iPad multitasking so now you can do split screen and you can move in with a finger with two fingers right there to get that and um, very useful the slide over feature is only available on the iPad 2 where you can just swipe over with two fingers so the iPad Air 2 I mean gets the um, slide over feature split view is on iPad Air 2 it can it works on iPad Air, Air 2, iPad Mini, m no, Mini 2, and Mini 3, I believe. Pictures and pictures, so now you can, you know, email and watch a video here or on the home screen while you're doing something else. Quick type, so you can select cut, uh, cut copy, and paste, and other sources there. Easy text selection, so two fingers turns the this part into a trackpad to select stuff keyboard shortcuts if you have a keyboard bluetooth keyboard smarter siri so siri is doing a suggestion thing suggestion tab i mean where you swipe over to the left and it also has the spotlight search at the top here which spotlight search to the left of the screen has been around since ios 3 so now they're finally bringing that back with Siri suggestions of new apps that you might have downloaded. They're suggesting you pick one of those and use those. Nearby places you want to go to, news, whatever you pick. You can ask it more reminders. You can say, show me videos I took you know, at a birthday party or remind me when I get to a car, what I need to get when I got my car and stuff like that. Intelligent search. So now you can... Look up stuff right from Siri right there. And just pick out all the information you need. Places nearby, relevant people. So you can schedule a lot of stuff. News, suggested apps are there, like I said. Proactive assistant. So you can plug in your headphones at the bottom of the phone, like you always do. And during a certain time of day when you do it, or in a certain area, it plays a certain song that's relevant in the area you are in and a new another new feature I want to touch on is it uses the information from your email and messages and contacts to see 
if that number might be this person or whatnot. Another feature is it automatically adds in the invitations or calendar events into calendar already. Siri does that all. Engineering. So now they're doing engineering to perform at every level. So they are redefining the core OS, the core operating system. What the best thing is now an even longer battery life with iOS 9. You can get one hour of additional time before charging when you're using iOS 9. And they say this is only for the iPhone 6 as of now. Uh, later in the fall, like September time, when the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus comes out, then we'll figure out if the one hour will go for the iPhone 5 and up, or the iPhone 4S and up as well. Uh, now the update is smaller, which is very, very good on Apple's part. iOS 8 takes 4.58 gigs. iOS 9 takes 1.3 gigs. So now if you have 1.3 gigs, you can go to iOS 9. Faster responsive, so Metal, you know, now uses the GPU and CPU in there for faster PDFs, emails, messages, web pages, and things like that for the iPad and the phone. Another thing with battery life, you can do power reserve mode with one click of a button, and that gives you three hours, three extra hours of battery life when your phone's about to die. So that's very amazing on Apple's part and in iOS 9. Improved security, so now you can add six-digit passcode instead of four and a two-factor authentication with it when you sign in to get your device and stuff like that. And another thing they touched on is I um, Android migration to iOS. So now you can download some app on here on your Android device to move everything over to a iPhone, which is now easier. It looks like it's done through Bluetooth, most likely. And here's the new SDK, and the developer preview is available today, and the public beta is available next month will be ready in September time. And these are devices, the following devices that are compatible. On the iPhone side, iPhone 4S, 5, 5C, 5S, 6, and 6 Plus, iPad Air 2, iPad Air, iPad 2, iPad 3rd generation, iPad 4th generation, iPad Mini 3, iPad Mini 2, and iPad Mini and iPod, on the iPod Touch side, it's only the 5th generation. And I will be getting the beta preview of iOS 9 on my iPhone 4S, so stay tuned next month for when I get a preview on my MacBook Pro of El Capitan, which will be ready at the same time. So now let's take a look at Watch OS. Here's watchOS 2.0, or 2, watchOS 2. So now you can add more stuff. You can add your own custom wallpaper here. You can add more friends, like school friends, work friends, business friends, things like that. So you can add your own pictures here. And these, these pictures here are from Hong Kong, London, um, a lake, Shanghai, New York which uh, in your time zone would show daytime, nighttime, things like that. Time lapse of the area they're doing. And you can pick your own photo and do a photo album as well. Cycle through all your photos. More complications. So now you can add your own complications if you're a developer in there to say more stuff about HomeKit. If your electric car is charged up, flight tickets and things like that. New feature called time travel, which means you can use a digital crown to go back in time to see what happened in the past that you did and go into the future further hours, you know, further to see what's going on later in your day or later in the week, later in the month, things like that, whatever you got planned back and forth like that with digital crown. Nightstand mode, you can put your watch here and you can use the digital crown as a snooze button and the power button as the off button for the for the alarm. Powerful apps. This is the biggest thing they should have done on day one, in my opinion, was bring Apple Watch apps directly to the watch itself. Dedicated native apps. 
So now the dedicated native apps are going to be on the watch, run faster, much more smooth and perfect, which they should have done on day one. So now you can use the accelerometer to get your accuracy when you're doing pitches and stuff with um, golf, things like that. Different functions, you know, apply to emails, things like that. Add more friends like I talked about. You can do colorful sketches now in different colors, which is great if someone else has an Apple Watch. And now with maps, you get um, transit information, which is good. So you can see bus schedules, train schedules, subway stations, all that type of stuff. And the same thing in iOS 9, the Apple Pay, same features get brought over. Siri gets updated and brought over new features. You can ask it to do a lot more. Uh, protect your watch which with a activation lock. So now you can, you know, f it's like a kill switch, basically. If your watch gets stolen, you can wipe everything off and things like that. And it says here, uh, so in the event that your Apple Watch is lost or stolen, your information really uh, remains safe. So very good, Apple's going to make a kill switch for it in watchOS 2.0 and more apps and more APIs for it. Uh, watchOS 2 is, is available today for developers and will be released in the fall for uh, regular watch users. So can't wait for that and I will be showing you a demo on that when that comes out and uh, to let you guys know my Apple Watch is going to be coming at the end of this month in the beginning of July it's coming and I will be doing a video on that and when watch OS 2 comes out I'll be doing a video on that too another thing I want to touch on is the music section now the iPod section has got removed has been removed and they replaced it with the music section now the music sec uh, section is their new Apple Music app, which is like Spotify, things like that, you know, global stations, radio, connect. It's like your own personal pay, uh, playlist. Playlist, I mean. Uh, Beats Music 1 and stuff. And it's available for iOS 8.4, watchOS when you get watchOS 2, Mac, PC, with when you update to iTunes on your Mac and PC, and an Android app coming this fall. Uh, for basic membership, it's $9.99, and for a family a family set of six people, it's $14.99. And the iPods are still here, just to let you guys know. They're still here, you just have to look for it in the music thing, and they're all still here. From the iPod Touch, the iPod Nano, to the iPod Shuffle, and the Apple TV, and everything else. So, let you guys know, those are still here too. They just moved them. And they're doing beats, headphones, and stuff like that. And membership, as we jump into the membership section, you get the first three months. You get the first three months of the trial membership for free. That's right. On your iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, Mac, or PC, and the Apple Music, you get your first free month, first three months for free. And there's a plan for everybody. Single membership, like I said, $9.99 a month. Family plan, $14.99 a month. Up to six people can in, can use the same exact account. Same exact Apple account. And here it says the differences between what you get in either one. And all your devices and stuff. And uh, this is my recap on today's WWDC. Uh, leave me... Uh, comments in the description. What do you think about Apple Music, El Capitan, 10.11, Watch OS 2, which is the biggest advancement they did to the watch, which is finally bringing stuff people really want it, and iOS 9. And uh, next month I'll be doing a video on um, El Capitan and iOS 9. And when Watch OS 2 comes out, I will be doing a video on that. And when my Apple Watch comes out, I will be doing a video on that too. Uh, like the video for light if you like it just like it if you dislike it leave a comment down below and as always subscribe to the channel see you guys next time